In Netsuki production, the boxwoods are dried for five years until all the moisture is completely removed. The process begins with rough carving, where the design drawn with a pencil is carved into the front surface of the boxwood. The technique used is primarily stabbing chisel carving, where the rough shape is formed by digging. Laiura has completed the initial carving, shaping the rough form using the moon seeds. Now, she proceeds to carve the finer details using a slanted blade called Soku Katana Instant Sword. When the overall shape is complete, she starts carving the pointed tip. After about three hours, the rough carving is finished. Next is the polishing process. We use three types of sandpaper, coarse, medium, and fine. First, we use coarse sandpaper to remove the marks made by the knife. Once the carving marks are gone, we switch to fine sandpaper. At this point, we soak the chestnut and sandpaper in water. This prevents sawdust from accumulating on the sandpaper and allows the remaining polishing marks on the chestnut to become more visible. When shining a light on it, she can find small polishing marks. If there are any remaining marks at this stage, they will become apparent after coloring, resulting in uneven colors. Finally, she polishes it with the finest sandpaper, revealing a smooth, and beautiful wood grain. But even though Laiurasan has just finished polishing, she starts carving the surface again. We try to make it look as close to the real thing as possible. This is what Issei Netsuke is all about. Next comes the coloring. She paints the whole chestnut with a brown pigment called Chaco tea powder. And then wipes it off. She repeats this process five to six times to penetrate the color and make it closer to the color of a real chestnut. Next, she applies a liquid made from boiling yashibushi fruits on top. It's said that this stabilizes the color. The colored chestnut netsuke exudes a splendid shine. She carved a star-shaped zigzag pattern on the back of the colored chestnut netsuke. This is the real cream, like this, 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 like this,
くりのお尻のところがこうギザギザギザギザってなっているのでほとんど言われてみなければわからないところなんですけれどもそういうところにこだわりを持って彫っていくのが煮付けの良さなのかなと思って。この腰の外側は刃物の線が一定にならないように四方八方から不規則な線を掘っていって星の中側は一定方向に彫りの線をつけることによって中と外の違いを表現しているのでいかにこう自然に崩していくかが難しいところなんです。It's challenging to make it look natural and gradually deteriorated. With the bottom of the chestnut carved, she proceeds to make two holes for threading the string, one on the top and one on the bottom. She divides the tip of the knife into three levels and makes it thicker to widen the hole. By gradually shaving from both holes, a U shaped passage is formed. Afterward, she sands the inside of the holes so that the string doesn't break easily. She applies Yasha liquid to the entire piece. The two holes are of different sizes. She waits for them to dry. And threads the string. With that, all the steps are completed. Layu Rasan's masterpiece, the chestnut netsuke, is finished. The reason the hole sizes are different is to hide the knot of the string in the larger hole. 